guys, it's Christina, and welcome to the start of another week. We are at the beach. My sister and my dad went away to Maine for the week, and I was really jealous, so we decided to come down to the beach today, and I'm very happy about it. I just had the nicest encounter with a woman. I was down by the water. My mom was taking pictures of me with my towel, the one that says Airy Real. I wanted a picture for Instagram. So we were taking the pictures and this older woman who was sitting near us asked, oh, what does that mean? I went over and I explained a little bit about the campaign that Airy is doing. And then we got to talking a little bit about my story. And it turns out that she actually has quite a history of similar health issues. And she worked for like 20 years in the 70s with chronic pain patients when really chronic pain was just starting to be recognized. She actually worked at the very first chronic pain clinic. She really, really wanted to learn about EDS and about some of the things that I was doing. So it was really just one of those chance encounters where you feel like it almost wasn't a coincidence. It was meant to happen. This is the kind of thing that happens when you promote a campaign and you put yourself out there. You will have the opportunity to educate others. Good morning, you guys. I am joining you from my little slice of heaven in my little garden. I am just grabbing a little time for some meditation and some headspace before I have to go inside and tackle my bedroom. I moved into that bedroom probably two years ago and I don't think I have ever gotten it organized. The last couple of years have just been so wild that I just never had the time or the energy to actually go through my things. Okay, now I'm just really procrastinating. I really hate cleaning and organizing. I gotta go do that. Oh, but before I do that, I promised you guys I would show you the results of the henna that I put in my hair last week, last vlog. It actually took like 48 hours for it to really turn reddish this time, and it actually won't show up in the camera quite as red as it does in person. But yeah, this is the final result. You can see it better when the sun hits it. And it makes my hair so soft and feels so much more healthy and shiny. That's just a really good option for some of you guys who have some of the allergies that I have and stuff like that. I mean, really, this is insanity. All of my stuff is in my front room. I just really need to get organized. I'm just going through all of these drawers, cleaned out this trunk that I have, and then over here I have all of these shelves. Most of the stuff that are on these shelves were actually like already in here when I moved into this room and it just nobody had anywhere else to put them. But I'm gonna put them in some boxes and bins and have everyone go through that. I found my thumb braces. I am so excited. I have been looking for these absolutely everywhere. So the saga of life with EDS continues. When we were doing physical therapy, my therapist noticed that my jugular site from my port placement was looking kind of funky. So she told me I should probably cover it just in case. So I came out to the car to cover it and I like alcohol and swapped it before I was going to put the dressing on. And when I alcohol swapped it, like this like piece of like white string kind of came out of the middle. Luckily we were still in the parking lot and we went back in and my physical therapist took a look at it. We alcohol swabbed it as well as we could. We put down some sterile gauze and then we put a dressing over it. And I just talked to my port nurse and she said that I did everything right. In the meantime we have to find out from the people who placed the port if it's a dissolvable stitch or what the deal is. We have no clue if the site is going to be able to heal up on its own or if that's going to have to be stitched shut too. Alright, looks like tomorrow we are going to go into the IR clinic and they're going to take a look at it for me, see what needs to be done. Which is perfect because I have another appointment in Boston to get my Zoller anyway. Not the same hospital, but at least we don't have to drive into Boston twice. Hey guys, it is Wednesday and we are on our way into the city. 
I have two doctor's appointments today. I'm going to take a look at my weird incision site. And then we have to drive to another hospital to go get my Zoolar injection. Apparently, this is highly unusual. Okay, so that was really weird. We got in there and he took a look at it. He got a pair of tweezers out and he pulled out this like white kind of string and he was like, I have absolutely no idea what this is. Like our stitches are black. We never put stitches in this area. He had no idea what it was. I had no idea what it was. At least it's out and hopefully I can heal up now. And now it's time for hospital number two. Yay, dose number six is done. And we are just leaving the allergist office now. <sighs> I'm totally beat. If you guys are new around here, I get a monthly injection to combat some of my mast cell activation problems. So, like my allergies. And this medication has been an absolute miracle for me. I feel extremely fortunate to be able to receive this medication. I know that a lot of people have a hard time getting access to it. It honestly took us a couple years to get it prescribed and approved. It kind of stinks. I wonder where I would be now if I had started this journey two years ago. But that is all in the past now and we are hoping that my symptoms continue to improve as they have been. Okay, it feels so good to be back home in my air-conditioned room. I have been noticing that the last few times after the Zolar injections, I've been getting like a little bit of like a mast cell or dysautonomia reaction. I just don't feel very well and I get very, very tired. The heat isn't helping and plus, I guess I was reacting to whatever kind of foreign body was in my neck. I'm hoping that maybe this is the reason that I was having so many mast cell reactions to my dressings. I was wondering if maybe the fact that my body was reacting to this foreign body was kind of just lowering my threshold for a reaction. Hi guys, it is Thursday night and we are just getting home from my uncle's birthday party. But I think my mom did grab a few clips. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peter. Happy birthday to you. And many more in the picture. I want to hear you. Oh, when you roll in river. you guys know by now it is not a family party without a ukulele sing-along so anyway I'm getting ready for bed but I am working on packing up a couple Etsy orders as well as experimenting a little bit with some of these necklaces I just kind of quickly mentioned a little project that I was working on in my last vlog which are these little lockets that you can keep a dose of medication in I did not expect the super positive reaction that I got, nor did I expect so many people to be interested in purchasing them. So here we have the finished prototype with the chain all attached to it. Unfortunately, I am not allowed to wear necklaces for a little while until this weird thing on my neck heals, but I think this looks pretty darn cool. Like I said, this project started out as just a project of making something that I wanted for myself. So I only have three of these little lockets. So if you are interested in purchasing one, that is something that I will definitely be able to do for you in the future. I just have to wait until all of the new lockets and stones that I just ordered come in the mail. But definitely be patient because I ordered some really, really cool looking stones. I even ordered some gold tone lockets, which I think would go better and be really pretty with some of these gold stones that I have and also with some of these tiger's eye stones. Oh my gosh, I just had an idea. What if I added like a moon? Oh my gosh, it fits perfectly. That looks so cool. A 
few of you also asked about the medical alert bracelet from the last video. I cannot make a medical ID tag for you. I don't have an engraving machine. The previous customer already had her medical ID tag along with some charms that she wanted to use. And so she contacted me through Etsy. She sent me her charms as well as her wrist measurements. I added charms of my own and made them into a custom bracelet for her, which is something that I would totally love to do again and again. I mean, I love doing commission pieces and personal pieces, but you guys were so receptive about the idea of a custom medical alert bracelet, so I started to do some more experimenting using my own medical ID tag. I just took the tag I had from my old bracelet and decided to make a new bracelet that clipped right onto it. Beauty of this bracelet is that I added clasps to both sides of the bracelet so the tag can easily be taken off and mixed and matched with other styles, which is pretty cool. The greatest thing about this style versus my other commission piece is that not only would you be able to interchange things depending on your mood, but you also would not have to send me your tag with all of your personal information on it. This one I incorporated three of those lava stone beads that I talked about. Lava stones are just really porous stones that you can add essential oils to and they will hold on to that smell, I mean, all day. So definitely let me know what you guys think. If you guys have questions or requests or you've seen a style you liked before and it's no longer around, or you have a favorite stone or anything like that, definitely shoot me a message on Etsy and I can usually tell you pretty quickly if I'm up for the challenge or not. I should go to bed because my physical therapist has been texting me all night <laughs> with pictures of different exercises she's going to make me do tomorrow and I'm going to need a lot of energy for that. So, good night. Hey guys, congratulations. We have made it to another Friday. I am about to take a nap because I'm pretty sure my physical therapist tried to murder me today. Love you, Trish. But there were two things that I kind of wanted to talk about. These are two very frequently asked questions and two things that I am pretty curious about as well. The first question being, do I put anything on my scars to help them to heal or to help them to fade? And the answer is no, or at least it was. But because I've been having so many of you asking me this question, I started to get a little bit curious. My scars were never really something that I thought too much about uh, aesthetic wise, especially because these last few years have been so crazy with surgeries that it was more just like survival mode. But as a lot of you guys probably know, EDS people do not heal very well. Our skin tends to be very fragile and elastic and stitches just don't hold well and our scars tend to form a lot of scar tissue or to widen or open up. This hasn't really been a huge problem for me in the past. I did have slight widening on that scar already, but after this last surgery, I'm going to insert a clip here so you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's pretty bad right now. Last surgery, he pretty much had to cut away the entire scar because it was just so full of scar tissue and adhesions. If you think about it, on your neck, you don't really have a whole lot of extra skin to go around. So it basically really, really hurts. It itches. It feels like it's tearing and burning. It's very, very unpleasant. So I started looking into it, and I decided that I wanted to try something to try to help the skin to heal. So I bought some vitamin E oil. I have no idea if this is a good brand. It does also have jojoba oil and rosehip oil in it, which I'm not mad about. I like those oils. Those oils work for my skin. Apparently they work as a good carrier oil with vitamin E oil. I'm not gonna lie, this was also one of the cheapest options on Amazon. So I'm going to start using this and I will report back to you guys on how this is working for me. Now, the second question is also very oil related. Have I ever tried medical cannabis or CBD oils? And up to now, the answer has also been no. Reason number one being that I have had some pretty severe allergic reactions to the smell of cannabis smoke in the past so severe that it left me completely terrified of the thought of being around cannabis at all. Second, to be honest, 
because of the stigma. CBD oil is derived from the same plant as, you know, the marijuana that people smoke. I never wanted to try it because I didn't want to be that person. This last time when I was at the dentist, I was in some pretty severe jaw pain and he pulled out something called Theramune, which is a topical ointment that does contain some CBD oil. I did actually find that the drops more than the balm helped to relax some of those really tight muscles and it did help with some of the pain I was having. Since then, I've been doing a lot of research. So one, you can get CBD oil without the THC or pretty much without the THC. And you should not experience any sort of high from pure CBD oil. It is actually the THC in the cannabis that gives you that high feeling. They are actually allowed to sell CBD oil to any of the states, even the states where cannabis is illegal. And it's supposed to be really, really great for relieving pain, especially nerve pain, muscle tightness, spasms, and if ingested, it's supposed to help with nausea, anxiety, and even sleep. So what was the tipping point for me? Well, I have very severe nerve pain. This is something that I've had for a very long time, but has gotten so much worse since my last surgery. I think it's very tied in to the problems I'm having with the healing and the scar. Everything is pulled tightly. The nerves are pulled very tightly. There is a lot of scar tissue. And honestly, I have been in agony. The air hurts. Like, the breeze hurts to touch it. The sun hurts. My clothes hurt. So I have been just absolutely slathering myself in all of these essential oil roll-ons. I have, like, essential oil infused massage bars. I have a bunch of these different compounded pain creams with all these different ingredients. And honestly, nothing has really helped that pain. The closest thing to helping has been this compounded pain cream that's full of different muscle relaxants, pain medications, and numbing agents. And so then it kind of hit me that here I was just absolutely covering myself in these essential oils, these plant oils, and yet I was totally turning up my nose to the idea of CBD oil. And I realized what a total hypocrite that made me. All of a sudden I realized that the only difference between these plant oils, like lavender and peppermint, and CBD oil was my own internal prejudice that came with the stigma around marijuana. Honestly, like this stuff, is probably so much better for me and much more natural than using this stuff. And I know that everybody has very different opinions on this. I mean, my opinion on this is different than it was a week ago, but I did it. I took the plunge and I ordered some Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is just the name of the specific strain and the brand that I ordered from. I felt safe ordering this because there was a lot of information out there and a lot of reviews. So you can order online, it's no problem. You do not need a prescription, you do not need a medical marijuana card. It's basically just hemp oil, it's a hemp extract. So have I tried it yet? No, I have not. I just received it in the mail this morning along with the vitamin E oil. So I've not tried either one of those and I thought that I would take you guys along on the process. Next question, am I going to ingest it? My plan for right now is no, just because of my mast cell issues, I really haven't been able to ingest anything. I actually plan to put this onto my skin, either directly or to make some kind of salve out of it. If you guys have any kind of DIY recipes for this stuff, let me know, because that would be really cool. Christina, if you don't plan on ingesting it, why didn't you buy a topical? Well, my friends, as you know, I have a great track record of reacting to pretty much everything. In the case that I put one little drop of this stuff on my skin and have a major reaction, I can just hand this over to my sister who could really benefit from some of the other uses that come more with ingesting. Do you guys use it? Does it help you? 
Is this something that you would be interested in trying? I just think it would be really interesting to hear. Okay guys, so I did not get a nap. I tried, I am just the worst napper in the whole world. I can never ever ever fall asleep when I want to. But I got a shower, I was accomplishing something at least. And now I'm clearly having an allergic reaction, judging by my face. I am allergic to the dressing <laughs> that we are using for that weird little thing that I had on my incision. It's so weird. It's like not healing up like it was supposed to. Every time I take off the bandage to change it, it is still looking pretty gross. And I don't really know what I'm going to do about the allergic reactions. I guess I'm going to just have to take Benadryl because I don't have any other dressings and I don't want this to get infected any more than it might already be. I really don't want to have to take antibiotics. I especially do not want to take unnecessary antibiotics. If it's infected and I need them, of course I'll take them. But I don't want them to prescribe me antibiotics for no reason. That's not good for my personal health and that's not good for global health in general. So I'm mostly just trying to keep it clean and sterilized and dressing it. And I'm gonna have to just deal with the consequences of the dressing. But look what I did do. I added the moon to the little locket and I think well when I'm not like super red and blotchy look at how cute that is that is so cool I'll put the Benadryl in there and you can see you can still see the little pills in there if you look closely but because the Benadryl is small and white it doesn't really bother me I don't know what do you guys think I also think I should probably be taking these right now. I'm getting like more and more purple. <sighs> it's never boring. How am I supposed to kick out that little face? Oh, <laughs> For such a little doggy, you take up a whole lot of bed. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I am just waking up. I am getting ready for the day and I am experiencing a lot of knee pain. I turned on my camera because I figured I would take this opportunity to try out these CBD drops. I've done a lot of googling and it seems like you can rub this straight into your skin. I don't know. I guess you guys will tell me in the comments if I'm doing this totally wrong. If I have an allergic reaction on like my knee area, I think it's going to be a whole lot better than if I had it it on my jaw or around my neck and something like that. So I think the knee is a good place to start. Take well before using. This is actually absorbing really well into my skin. I was afraid it would be kind of greasy or run everywhere and that's why I wanted to make some kind of lotion out of it. But this is absorbing really well. Okay, so now I'm just going to keep getting ready for my day and see what happens. Okay guys, update. I have just been getting ready, going about my daily activities, whatever. And my knee feels so much better. I usually am very skeptical of any kind of topical pain relief just because it has never really worked for me in the past, but I swear my knee feels like 90% better. It's been probably, well, about an hour since I put on the CBD drops. And so now I am going to put them on my other knee and see if I can get the same results. Honestly, I'm just really in shock that this is maybe actually helping. A wild Christina <laughs> frolicking. I'm tie-dying. Kind of spur of the moment. This is supposed to be a yin-yang. We'll see what happens. I think it's going to come out good. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I just pulled it out of the dye bath and now it has to sit for a while. Oops. <laughs> it just needs to burn out. 
It looks like I tried to cook. Dying down. Of course, of course. At least well, I, I hope you guys that. like your burgers well, well done. Be better <laughs> the oxygen. Alright guys, I can scarcely believe it, but another week has come to a close. Thank you so much for coming along on this week with me. Oh, and let me show you how my tie-dye shirts came out. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. Cue my mini fashion show. Anyway, if you guys liked this video, it would be awesome if you would hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, then I recommend that you subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!